okay year seven sorry i haven't been able to um do your team's lesson today um uh, i've got to be in school doing something there and there isn't anyone that can do your lesson instead so um here's what we're doing today okay we're looking at something called iv characteristics we'll get that to that in a second but first of all i'd just like you to see if you could do this little warm-up okay i'd like you to look at the words at the top Okay, and which of those words is going to fit into each of these boxes? So just write the three answers in your book if you can. Okay, question one is what are the units that are used to measure voltage? Okay, question two is which are the units that are used to measure current? And question three, which of those words up there is sometimes used, um, sometimes referred to as potential difference? Okay, so if you need a tiny bit more time, obviously you can pause the video. Okay, um, but we're going to have a look at the answers now. So uh, units used to measure voltage is volts. Okay, the units that are used to measure current, that is amps. And used, uh, sometimes referred to as potential difference, that is voltage. Okay, oh, sorry, I've gone one too far there. OK, so this is the title for today. What are IV characteristics? OK, and we've got two objectives today. Um, we're going to have a quick look at some electrical terms that we've already looked at. OK, um, and then we're going to use a circuit to produce some data that we can use to show voltage and current. So I'd like the date, OK, which is um, the 22nd. OK, and the title is uh, there. What are the IV characteristics or what are IV characteristics? Now, you may remember that this I here, OK, uh, I stands for current, OK, and the V stands for voltage. OK, so another way of asking this question is what are um, the characteristics where you've got current and voltage together? OK, so I'm going to uh, just ask you some questions now. If we were doing this on a Teams lesson, I'd get you to put your answers in the chat, okay? But by all means, I'd like you to have a think about it, okay, as I ask the question. So if I wanted um, to investigate resistance, okay, if I wanted to find out what the resistance of a particular component, so a light bulb or uh, a resistor, okay, um, or a motor or a speaker, if I wanted to find out how much resistance, how much electrical resistance that component presented, OK, how could I do it? OK, how will I know that there is some resistance being applied? And how could I potentially measure that? What could I do? So you can pause it now if you want to have a think about it. OK, but the answer, OK, is we'd conduct, we'd, we would construct a circuit which includes the component and some method of varying the voltage. OK, that means we could use a variable resistor. Or we could change the amount of um, uh, we could change the power supply, okay, and that that could help us to uh, work out whether or not our resistor is very very high resistance or very very low resistance, uh, or our light bulb has got high or a low resistance, okay. Um, what measurements would we need to take? Again, this is an opportunity for you to um, uh, to have a think about it. What what measurements could I take? Think about the uh, title of this lesson. I've kind of given you a clue there. Okay, we've talked about I and V characteristics. Okay, so we're talking about current and we're talking about voltage. So I need to think about how I can measure current and how I can measure voltage. Think about things that we've used in the past to measure current and things I've used in the past to measure voltage. Okay. So to measure current in amps, okay, I'm going to need an amp meter. Okay, to measure voltage or potential difference in volts, I'm going to need a voltmeter. And we can calculate resistance, okay, using ohms. Okay, using ohms law here. Okay, um, so we can we measure resistance in ohms, but we calculate it using ohms law. And ohms law is that resistance, okay, this R is equal to the voltage divided by, so that's what that slicey line means, okay, the voltage divided by the uh, current, okay? So this is a circuit I need you to draw in your books, 
Okay, we're investigating the resistance of a wire. Now, in this case, um, I've drawn that wire as a uh, rectangle, like a um, like any other resistor. But you could just do it um, as a as a normal piece of wire. Okay, we're going to use the focus software, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay, to investigate how current and voltage vary in a circuit with a single resistor. Okay. Now, on the right hand side here, you've got a fun new um, thing that we may not have seen before. This is a variable resistor, and that's what that interesting arrow across it looks like. Now, there's a different way of drawing a variable resistor, which we're going to see on the focus software, okay, which will help you to understand a little bit better about what's actually happening, okay. Uh, but this funny resistor here with the uh, weird looking arrow across it, this is a variable resistor, which means that I can change whereabouts my circuit connects to it. So if uh, I were to connect it to this end, okay, um, it still would have to go through most of the resistor. Whereas if I was able to connect it to this end, it would be able to shortcut it. And that's going to become a lot more obvious when we look at the uh, focus software. Okay, so uh, pause the video if you want to finish getting that circuit down. Okay, um, but we're going to move on. So um, once you've drawn that okay, circuit, you're going to need to draw this table. Okay, now we're going to work out using the focus software in a second, the voltage in our circuit and the current in our circuit. And you are going to have to calculate, okay, the resistance. Now, fortunately, we've put on here for you the equation that you need. So the uh, resistance is the voltage divided by the current. So this number divided by this number is going to give you this number, which is the resistance. Okay. Now, um, we're going to go to focus learning. Okay. And uh, we are going to um, log ourselves in. Okay, we're going to come and select this physics required practicals. Okay, we're going to come over here to AQA. Now I know it says GCSE and this is quite complicated, which is why I'm uh, making sure that, that we're really, really happy. But we're going to go for this current voltage characteristics. Okay, please don't panic about the fact that this is quite difficult. This is probably the most difficult thing we're going to come across okay so uh, you need to change a couple of things here we need to turn the cells down to one okay you want to uh, click on resistor to make sure that it's resistor here okay we want resistor one okay and all we're going to do is we're going to drag this uh, line up here Okay, we're going to drag this line and we're going to bring it all the way down here to the bottom. Now, I said I'd go through this again when we had the software open. So what's happening here is the current is passing through this one circuit. Okay, and then back into the battery. And what we are doing is we are looking at the difference between here and here in terms of its voltage. Now that's just a tiny bit of normal wire. So there is absolutely no voltage really flowing through there okay and there's basically no current at all okay um, flowing through um, this bit here okay whereas you will see that when we increase the um, uh, the, the current one when we when we bring the um, when we bring this section here okay we're looking at the difference between now here and here which as you can see because we're going through some of the resistor okay you can see these numbers have gone up now we've got the left hand number is our voltage okay and we've got the right hand number is our ammeter now what I need you to do okay is to fill in this table okay using these results Okay, now you need to collect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven results. Okay, the first one could be right the way down here, could be zero, zero, and that's totally fine. Okay, I'm actually going to give you 
some examples of some results. Now, I'll, I'll leave this on the screen for just a second so you can pause it if you want to. But this is the instructions. I've shown you all of this. OK, but if you'd like to um, go through it all, that's completely understandable. OK, um, the suggestion here is we adjust the variable resistor, this one. OK, gradually and record the current and the voltage in my table. OK, here are some examples. OK, these are my results. Yours should look similar. OK, um, I'd like you to collect some results for yourself, though, please. OK, now we're going to go through this tomorrow. You can work out, OK, the resistance, OK, by taking this number and dividing it by this number. OK, and you can put your resistance in here. OK, um, we're going to discuss this in our next lesson. OK, um, guys, thank you for being really, really patient. If you've got any questions, you can put them, uh, uh, you can ask them on Show My Homework and I'll do my best to try and answer them. OK, but as I say, I'm um, in school busy with things on Monday. Um, so if you've got any questions, put them on Show My Homework and I'll try my best to get back to you. But if not, we can always talk about them when I see you for your next lesson in the week. OK, um, good luck. And as I say, any questions, you can uh, ping me a message on Show My Homework.